Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Examine the uh -huh. broken barrel. What have we here? It's cannon powder. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Why am I so, a fucking idiot? Let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I had to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I hope so. Oh, yeah. There's also this amber fragments. You just found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Amber. Yeah, amber. Alright, go up to the manor. Alright, done finding clues. See? I do all the clues and shit. Now we can... What? Aha! Collector coins. What is collector's coins? What are you collector coin now? Lost coins in Lord Mortimer's Manor, okay. Okay, time to travel to the next level. Not a lot of peeps. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? from our damn it Whoa. impressive ah my son I was looking for you what can I do for you your eminence I wanted to ask you you are the son of Sara de Ricci aren't you well, you see yes. your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope, but I haven't seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, confrontation help, start. You can what? Always give it to me. Three blunders left. What? Uh, what? What? This game has just what? This game just has everything. During your confrontations, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much the person you are talking is convinced. Since this is a tutorial, I shouldn't Thank fuck you, up. My son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Step Would one. Do you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Oh shit! Never mind. Give me your letter. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, she's she's been here for several weeks now. I'm not gonna lie. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. Then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest of God. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> if only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. 
That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Ah, oh, shit. Art collector, antiquated is locked, our business is confidential. Damn, professional secret, sorry. We are members of the Golden Order. He's probably gonna not like that, but he's probably not gonna like the professional secret. My right. mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. Shit! You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Shit! Shit! All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Ah... Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? It depends on what it contains. Pretend that I want it. Fuck. Only you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes, absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? <laughs> last step. For the last step of your conversation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blund blunders left. Oh, that makes... That's good. Um... Promise. Mother will read it. No one, no one other than your mother will read it. Of course. <laughs> no worries. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen. Let's stop it. I am going to tell you a secret, Monsieur. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Of course I'm gonna look at it. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so don't hesitate to look at them. Alright. Added. Sealed. I need to be hidden. How do I hide myself? Can I hide myself? I wanna hide myself. Ooh. Devil's Forn. Devil's Forn grants you the exalted state. Your temporary see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialect choice in a conversation. You cannot carry more than five. Alright. I got more collect coins. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. 
The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Does this, does this mean, does this mean locked? I can't open the leather, it's probably gonna like, trigger that guy. Getting mad at me and shit. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Uh, for the love of God, take the book. These are so many items everywhere. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Who the Have hell you are you? Just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington, President uh, George of Washington. the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Then something. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. I don't like you, Washington. What? Illuminati! Good lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends! Holy shit! Holy That's shit. the man for my vision. An what? urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Say enough. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. <laughs> 
We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Shit! Decisions, huh? I'm probably gonna stay with Washington. Uh, uh, actually, I don't like him. I, I have no idea what to do. Um. I seriously have no idea what to do. They didn't listen. Or discover about this guy. Fuck it, I'll stay and listen to Washington. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry, Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Where does Emily know my mother from? Tell me more about this Mortimer. Mortimer. Yeah, tell me more mother about this Mother has guy. always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the Order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear, without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information. Thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. Uh, and I George am persuaded Washington. that your mother's research is his main concern. I don't think Mother has left the island. Mother still is at the head of the Golden Order. I find it difficult to believe that she came to this island without notifying the other members. As for myself, I did not know. 
I am here at the request of Sir Holm, a situation regarding the Crown of England to resolve, and to see what Lord Mortimer has to propose to us. As for me, Lord Mortimer asked me here to speak about the future of America. I did not know that your mother would even be among us. In any case, no one has yet mentioned associating the Order. We haven't found many clues yet. Show the book. I need to know but about that book. I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Oh, that book. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Who the hell is that? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear. God, or you're you ugly. Lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> You seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, old, who was that young lady with you? What? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Uh. Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Uh. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. The masked man. What if it's Lord Voldemort in, in that mask all all along and he's just spying on us all? I know these game I know these these dramas. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, your eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. At the end well, of the friend, corridor. I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. I got the feeling Maybe someone will get murdered. Well, I know about her. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? The end of the corridor. What, 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 did, you, did you not listen? This is locked. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. And I can't go inside, huh? Can I look around? Am I allowed to look around? Is it Napoleon Bonaparte? Napoleon? Sir Jacques Perru? Jesus, I like the accent. Am I gonna... What is that? Am I gonna get told told that I'm an idiot? If Golden elixir cures all your negative alterations. You cannot carry more than five. My negative what? A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Pages of encyclopedia cannot be equipped. Uh, okay, I need more. See, looking around. Scavenging and shit. Guide. Gives me stuff. Rules of civility. A 
the cat. Nice. I got more skill points towards the cat. Jesus, this place is huge. I want to see what's down here. Oh, I'm not allowed. Bullshit. What? What's that? Nothing. Okay. I want to look around more. Am I gonna be told off that I'm a fucker, I'm a fucking asshole if I look around? I mean, I get these elixirs and everything. What the fuck are those noises? I don't like them noises. I don't like them at all. I can't go up there. Okay. Alright, I gotta end it here, so... Uh, thank you guys for watching. This game looks interesting. I'm gonna totally fucking complete it the whole thing. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!